Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a mock test for heavy goods vehicle, so let's start. Okay, so there is 100 questions total. What will cause a noticeable increase in your vehicle's fuel consumption? Mm. Using the endurance brake. Next. What should you be aware of when you are overtaking on a motorway while it's raining heavily? I think visibility will be reduced by spray from traffic. I think so. Okay, you are driving on a dual carriageway and intend to overtake the vehicle ahead. What should you do if there's car approaching quickly behind you in the right hand lane? Stay behind the slow vehicle more. I think stay behind the slow vehicle. You are carrying another vehicle piggyback on your lorry. Chokes should be used to secure the wheels. What else should you use to secure the load? Hmm. I think in restraining straps what should you do when an air pressure warning device activates Pump the brake pedal repeatedly. When may you drive without wearing your seat belt? When reversing. You are driving a tanker that's half full. The inside of the tank isn't divided into compartments. How should you use the foot brake when you are stopping? Keep pressure on the brake pedal until you have stopped. I think fourth one. You have just overtaken another vehicle on a motorway. What should you avoid when moving back to the left? Cutting in. What does this motorway sign mean? You were putting a long uphill slope. I 
marching the second one you are approaching the law is only man you are turning right at a t-junction what should you do when your view to the right and left is blocked by parked vehicles I think first one ease forward until you can see clearly in all directions what's the minimum distance you should allow for braking when it's raining heavily mm, raining twice the normal distance you are following two cyclists as they approach around the road in the left hand lane in which direction should you expect them to go? Any direction. The driver's certificate of professional competence. Driver's CPC requires you to take training every five years. How many hours of training must you take? Mm, for 40 hours. You have stopped at the scene of an incident where there are casualties. What should you do to help while waiting for the emergency services to arrive? Give injured people a warm drink. Oh, keep injured people warm and comfortable. Okay, give injured people a warm drink. I think keep injured people warm and comfortable. At the scene of a crash, a casualty is in contact with live electrical cables. What should you use to break the electrical connection? Woolen gloves, a length of wood, a dump piece of cloth, a metal pole. <laughs> a length of wood, a length of wood. Okay, I guess a length of wood. A woolen gloves, a damp piece of cloth. Mm -hmm. Okay, a length of wood. What's the purpose of an emergency refugee area? On a smart motor, it's for a police patrol to park and watch traffic. It's for use if you think you will be near the road crazy. It's for use in case of emergency breakdown. It's for construction and road workers to store emergency equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's for use if you think you know. It's for use in case of emergency breakdown. Okay, I guess it's third one. 
emergency breakdown nope first one it's for a police patrol to park and watch traffic You are driving on the motorway and want to use your mobile phone. What should you do before using it? Stop in a safe place when you can. You have to drive onto a muddy building site. Why should you switch on your diff lock? Diff lock. So to make your statement to make the wheels less likely to spin. Yes, third one. To make the wheels less likely to spin okay at a junction you see this sign partly covered by snow what does it mean give it and right cross roads stop <laughs> cross roads I think stop it's on the junction okay stop what does controlling goods vehicle drivers hours help to improve mm, road safety you take some cough medicine given to you by a friend what must you do before driving mm. Check the level to see whether the medicine will affect your drawing. Okay, so which one? Hmm. Check the level to see whether the medicine will affect your drawing. Okay. A vehicle has rolled over and caught fire. The driver's hand and arms have been burned. How could you help the driver? So, burn with cool water, remove. Third one, remove anything sticking to the burns. Try to put out the fire. First one, douse the burns with cool water. Okay. Those the ones with cool water or okay, first one. What are traffic officers authorized to do? Hmm. Carry out enforcement duties. Stop and direct anyone on a motorway. Traffic officers. Carry out enforcement duties. Okay, so first or fourth. Mm, carrier enforcement duties fourth when would you use kick down on a vehicle that has automatic transmission kick down to give quicker acceleration third one okay you are securing a load using chains which type of chain is unsafe for securing a load mm. short link split link okay let's try I guess this one short link Who's responsible for making sure that cargo arrives undamaged? Mm, the driver. What should you do to prevent fuel spillage? 
which uh, place that we play. Place the drip tray correctly. First one, place the drip tray correctly. Okay. A vehicle fitted with an analog tachograph has two drivers. How should they use the tachograph? Use their own tachograph chart. Okay, yeah. How should you let other vehicle, other vehicles overtake when you are driving a slow moving vehicle along a narrow road? <laughs> Pull in when you can. Give a left turn signal weave them past okay third one give a left turn signal What additional training do you need before transporting frozen foods? Frozen food hygiene procedures. There's a slow moving motorcyclist hard of you. Okay. What should you do if you are unsure what the rider is going to do? Stay behind. You are driving a lorry 30 feet long and towing a trailer 15 feet long. What should you do when you see this sign? So 30 feet lorry trailer 50, 45 feet. Okay. Find an alternative route to your destination. Okay. When can you drive without wearing a seat belt? When the seat belt, when you hold a medical exemption certificate, when the speed limit 30 or less. I think third one, when you hold a medical exemption certificate. Okay. What does this temporary sign mean for drivers of vehicle over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass? So, use only left hand lane. Use only left hand lane. That's it. Where are these lights found? Near a fire and approach to a motorway near a school. I think near a school. On approach to a level crossing. No. Near a fire station. Okay, near a school. What does this sign mean? <clears throat> Contra flow bus lane. Okay. What can be expected after drivers complete a driver certificate of professional competence? Hmm, reduced traffic, increased fuel. Maybe 
reducing generation increased vehicle breakdown reduce traffic volume increase fuel reduce engine emission or reduce traffic volume I think reduce engine emissions you are driving a large vehicle on a narrow road with passing places what will you need to be most aware of large vehicle so its length what must you what must you do before you leave your vehicle check the door and let's apply the parking brake apply the parking brake Where can you stop if you feel tired while you are driving on a motorway? So, at a service station. Which large vehicles are more likely to damage the road surface? Mm. Vehicle with faulty suppress suppression equipment vehicle with a mixture of recut and new tires faulty suspension which vehicle is least likely to be affected by a high wind least likely to be affected okay high wind car mm. What should you do to prevent your load from being stolen? So, discuss your load with no nope. give a lift to a stranger. No, nope. have rent deflect now. Make sure all doors and windows are locked. Yes. What must you do when you park a lorry weighing more than 7.5 tons on average for essential loading? Hmm, display an orange patch now. Sign the corner. Make sure the lorry is always attended. Display an orange patch. Obtain the owner's permission. Sign the collection note. Make sure the lorry is always attended. Make sure the lorry is always attended. How can you help to ease traffic congestion? So you use motorway, avoid motorways to plan journey to avoid busy times, plan journey to avoid quiet times. So plan journey to avoid busy times. Plan journeys to avoid busy times. What should you do when you are overtaking a motorcyclist in very windy conditions? Allow extra room overtake. Slowly keep close on. Allow extra room. What should you do if the vehicle ahead is being driven by a learner? So first sound your horn, nope. 
keep calm and be patient yes second one which load is most likely to move forward with some force when you break sharply heavy metal no temper secure with dolly knots loose sand loose sand yeah i think so tubular metal heavy metal canvas sacks Heavy material or tubular metal timber secured with dolly knots. Timber secured with dolly knots. Hmm, which one? Move forward. Tubular metal. Okay. Under EU driver's hours regulations, a 45-minute break must be taken after 4.5 hours of driving. What shorter breaks can this be split into 10 and 15 and 30? What does it mean when there are double red lines running along the edge of a road? So, double red lines means no stopping. Air brake system usually have two lines. Which additional line is fitted on a three line system? Air brake system. Air brake. It's additional line. Auxiliary. Oh, third one. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Okay, I guess. You have been driving non-stop since 5. The time is now 9.30, so 4. Under your rules, what length of break must you take? 45 minutes. You are driving past a line of parked cars. What should you do if you notice a ball bouncing out into the road ahead? Slow down and be prepared to store for children. Yes, first one. You are entering a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist in front of you is signaling to turn right? Allow plenty of room, sound, overtake on the right, overtake. Allow plenty of room. What could prevent air pressure from building up in an air brake system is frosty weather. Hmm. The air will contract, reducing the pressure. Moisture drawn in with the air may freeze and cause a blockage. Moisture in the air may from bubbles in the brake. Third one, moisture drawn in with the air may freeze and cause a blockage. Third one, by how much can your stopping distance increase in icy weather? Ten times. What will happen if you follow a regular vehicle maintenance schedule? So it will increase fuel, it will reduce breakdown. It will definitely reduce breakdowns. Yes. What should you do if you are upset by another driver's behavior? Follow them flashing a gas share to them with your hand. Stop and take a break. Shout of his language. Stop and take a break. Why should you slow down when you see this sign? Because children will be crossing, there's a road race because pedestrians have right of way. There's, there's a pedestrian crossing ahead. Children may be crossing or 
the children may be crossing children may be crossing now there's a pedestrian crossing ahead i think fourth one there's a pedestrian crossing may crossing then i don't think so because children may be crossing this okay first one We can you park large vehicles at night without needing to use parking lights in an off road parking area in most first one in and off road parking area when should you consider the effect a speed limiter will have on your vehicle when overtaking? A group of school children are standing close to the left hand curb. What should you do as you drive past? Hmm, check your near side mirror, switch on your hazard light, check your off side mirror, switch on your so left hand, left hand, so check your near side mirror. I think near side left hand. Why should you choose an approved coolant solution in your engine's cooling system to prevent the air tank from freezing for effective cab heating to protect the cooling? Yes, to protect the coolant from freezing. How can you help to reduce the impact of road transport on the environment? Hmm, by increasing your road speed, by avoiding high gears, by reducing rest periods, by breaking in good time. Okay, fourth one, by breaking in good time. Your vehicle breaks down on the hard shoulder of a motorway. What should you do if you decide to use your mobile phone to call for help? Set the tucker of the work before you stand at the rear of the vehicle while making the call. Check your location from the marker post on the left. Use the speed dial function to save time. Stand at the rear of the vehicle while making the call. Stand rear of the vehicle. Okay. Hmm. Which one? Use the speed dial. Nope. Okay, first one set the tachograph. Set the tachograph to other work before making the call. No. Stand at the rear of the vehicle while making the call. Rear. Nope. Check your location from the marker posts on the left. I think third one, check your location from the marker post on the left. Why should you check your right hand mirror just before turning right from a main road into a side road? Your rear view to the left is blocked. There may be pedestrians stepping off the curb. You need to check your position. Someone may be overtaking you. I think someone may be overtaking you. Okay, fourth one. What should you do if the brake pedal becomes hard to press? Hard to press. It means pump the brake for the air, park and phone for help. Drain in the air tanks and then continue. Continue to drive and report it at the end of the day. Now park and phone for help. At a driver and vehicle standards agency, DVSA roadside check, your vehicle is found to have serious defects and you may no longer use it. Who will DVSA share this information with? Hmm, the bus, coach and commercial vehicle, the road transport industry, the driver and vehicle licensing, the traffic commissioner. 
How far can a load overhang at the rear before you must use projection marker boards? How far? How far? I think two meter. Your steering suddenly becomes heavy to turn. What could make this happen? A loss of air brake pressure and uneven road surface. A fall with the power assist to the steering. Yes. What should you do when you drive in windy weather? Windy. Stay close to swallow one another. Anticipate how the weather may affect other road users. Always keep to your intended route. Maintain a constant speed. I think anticipate how the weather may affect other road users. Mm, windy. Okay, second. Why are energy saving tires effective? They have a reduced rolling resistance, yes. While driving, your engine oil warning light comes on. Why could it be dangerous to continue driving? You will need to have the vehicle serviced the engine may be damaged yes second at what age are men most at risk from sleep related vehicle incidents what age so should be 30 year and under 46 to 59 31 to 45 sleep related Mm -hmm. 31 to 45 60 and over okay let's guess 31 to 45 <laughs> okay 46 to 59 where in particular should you look out for motorcyclist? Near a service area, at a road junction, at a filling station, at a road junction. When must you take extra care if you're driving a vehicle more than 3 meter high? Okay, extra care. When driving near airports, no. When driving over narrow bridges, no. When driving over steep hills, no. When driving under overhead cables, yes. You are driving a large vehicle. How does its size and design affect the blind spots? Hmm. It will have fewer blind spots and smaller. It will have the same blind spots. It will have no blind spots. What's why it will have more blind spots than fourth one. It will have more blind spots than smaller vehicles. What color follows the green signal at a puffin crossing? Puffin crossing. Mm, flashing flashing amber you are stationary the brake air pressure warning light comes on why should you keep the parking brake on mm. Because it will cause the air pressure to rise because the vehicle will suddenly roll backward and the warning light go out. The service brake may not stop you. I think fourth one because it will make the warning light go out. Which cargo needs to be transported at a controlled temperature? 
perishable food barrels cement okay first one control temperature okay that's first one what happens at token crossing to can crossing pedestrian and cyclist may cross where are you allowed to park a long rigid vehicle at a bus stop at a service area at school and pedestrian at a service area who has priority when you are approaching this sign so oncoming traffic how can vehicle breakdowns be reduced by regular servicing first one what should you do when you drive into a tunnel okay use parking lights use front spoiler use rear spoiler use dipped headlights yeah fourth one use dipped headlights how should you use the brakes in icy weather after using the gears first by pumping the brake suddenly gently the fourth one you are using three sheets to cover your load which is the correct overlap I think from back to okay this one you are behind a parked car what should you do when you are about to move off only use your mirrors after you have started moving check the blind spot before you start moving move off when there's no oncoming traffic start to signal when you are second check the blind spots before you start moving you're driving on a single carriageway when may you use your mobile phone only when you're driving a, only when you're suitable parked only when you're driving an automatic vehicle only when you're receiving a call i think second only when you are suitable parked which symbol on a lorry means it's likely to be carrying compressed gases oh, that's the one a lorry is overtaking you on a two lane motorway what should you do if it doesn't have the speed to get past uh, be prepared to reduce your speed brake hard to allow the other driver to cut in continue at the same time. increase your speed first one be prepared to reduce your speed when should your trailer be fitted with a kingpin or drop or lock when it's left unattended when it's being driven when it's being used partially loaded when it's being driven abroad first one when it's left unattended you are on a motorway approaching a working snow plow why should you stay behind it there may be deep snow ahead snow on our left hand drive only it's illegal to overtake no your speed could cause snow to drift behind so which one second one left hand drive only there may be deep snow ahead yeah <laughs> which one which one which one okay second one you are about to pass this car what's the main hazard you should be aware of sunlight or salam may be activated the narrow pavement on the right the driver's door may suddenly open the driver's door may suddenly open 
of the fourth one. A horse rider is in the left hand lane approaching a roundabout. What should you expect the rider to do? Go in any direction. When may vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass use the right hand lane of a motorway to overtake? When, when the motorway has two lanes, when other vehicles are turning right, when vehicles are stopped on the hot shoulder, when the motorway has three lanes. When the motorway has three lanes, yes. Under EU rules, you may drive for up to nine hours a day. What maximum may this be increased to on two days of the week? So nine to I think eleven hours. Your engine catches fire. What should you do before attempting to put the fire out? Empty the air tanks. Shut off the fuel supply. Yes, second one. Shut off the fuel supply. What will you have to deal with when you are driving at night? At light, there's a there's a from show cool at the driver speeding. First one. High sided vehicles can be affected by side wind. On which type of road is this most likely? So motorway narrow country lane slip roads. Open roads. You have reached the end of the test just like this is the real test. You can now review your answer before and okay. Total number of questions 100, number of complete 100, number of incomplete, number flagged. Okay, and test. Okay, 85% correct. So, how many wrong? How many wrong? I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so fifteen wrong answers. Okay, let's see. What will cause a noticeable increase in your vehicle's fuel consumption? okay using air conditioning okay that's the right answer okay next this is wrong what should you do when an air pressure warning device activates i said pump the pedal stop and have the fault put right okay stop and have the fault Okay, next, what does this motorway sign mean? You are approaching a long uphill slope. Okay. Next, the driver certificate of professional competence requires you to take training every five years. How many hours of training must you take? 35 hours okay next what's the purpose of an emergency refuge on a smart motorway it's for use in case of emergency or breakdown okay next what are traffic officers authorized to do stop and direct anyone on a motorway Okay. You are scaling a load using chains. Which type of chain is unsafe for securing a load? Split link. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What should you do to prevent fuel spillage? Close and secure the filler cap. Okay. Next, next. This is right, 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 right. All. Okay. At what age are men most at risk from sleep related vehicle incidents? 30 years and under. Okay. What color follows the green signal at the puffin crossing? Steady amber. Okay. You are stationary, the brake air pressure warning light comes on. Why should you keep the parking brake on? Because the service brake may not stop you. Okay. Next. You are on a motorway approaching a working snow. What's the answer? There may be deep snow ahead. Okay. Next. When may vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass use the right hand lane over motorway to overtake? When the motorway has two lanes. Okay. Under EU rules, you may drive for up to nine hours a day. What maximum may this be increased to on two days of the week? Ten hours. Okay, so drive for up to nine hours. Okay, the answer is ten hours. Okay. Next, that's it. All done. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.